Hi everybody, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed day. So I have a word for you guys today. And this word comes from a dream that he gave me a few days ago um, on the 26th. On the 26th of November. And um, this dream, I am only going to share a part of it um, and the rest whenever he leads, right? But for right now, I'm only going to share this part. It's so beautiful. Like, I cried when he was revealing and he gave me the scripture and I was like, oh God. Um, so the, in the, this part that I'm sharing of the dream, um, I was in a hotel suite and I was in the bed. It was a huge bed and it was like all white linens, really like fluffy, like super comfortable, right? I, I was in bed, right? Um, and I was resting, okay? Um, and then I hear music um, and I get up and I look out of the window of the, the suite and uh, somebody was playing the piano. <laughs> Beautiful, oh my gosh, and I love the piano. I've always, and um, I always wanted to learn and uh, I, that's still something that I would just love to like, yeah, the piano. Um, but um, this person was was playing the piano outside and it was just beautiful music, like beautiful. Um, yeah, and so that's the only thing I can share, <laughs> but it's a beautiful message. Um, and so the person who was playing the piano, I'm just going to say what their name means. Um, and it means bright fame, bright fame. And so I think of God, right? There's nobody brighter. There's nobody more famous than God, okay, than Jesus. Um, and so... I'm like it was God playing that piano it was God playing that music okay and so the scripture that he gave me um, is in Zephaniah 3 and I don't even know where to start um, I guess I'll start on verse 13 so it's 13 through 20 okay so it's quite a bit um, the remnant of Israel will not do wrong, nor will they speak lies, nor will there be found in their mouths a tongue given over to deceit. For they will be able to graze and lie down with no one to disturb them. Sing, daughter of Zion, shout, Israel, be glad and rejoice with all your heart, daughter of Jerusalem. Adonai has removed the judgments against you. He has expelled your enemy. The king of Israel, Adonai, is right there with you. You no longer need to fear that anything bad will happen. On that day, it will be said to Jerusalem, do not fear, Zion. Don't let your hands droop down. Adonai, your God, is right there with you. As a mighty Savior, He will rejoice over you and be glad. He will be silent in His love. He will shout over you with joy. And there's other translations that say He he delights in you with singing, you know, and he was playing the piano. My favorite instrument. <laughs> um, I will gather those of yours who grieve over the appointed feast 
and bear the burden of reproach because they cannot keep them. When that time comes, I will deal with all those who oppress you. I will save her who is lame, gather her who was driven away, and make them whose shame spread over the earth the object of praise and renown. When that time comes, I will bring you in. When that time, when that time comes, I will gather you and make you the object of fame and praise among all the peoples of the earth when I restore your fortunes before your very eyes, says Adonai. So this says a lot. <laughs> you are in a season of rest. In, the, in that part of the dream, I was resting. I was resting and the linens were white. So it's like purity. There has been a cleansing. Okay. So a season of rest with no one to disturb you. Okay. Um, Adonai is um, expelling your enemy. Your enemies. Those people that shamed you. Those people that wronged you. Those people. Those people the enemy used. Okay. Okay. God is expelling them and God will always be there like th these verses said it more than once like Adonai is right there with you you no longer need to fear that anything bad will happen okay so you're just going to be in peace a state of rest okay and he keeps saying do not fear do not fear um your God is right there with you as a mighty savior and he rejoices over you and he delights over you with songs of singing with his love and so that's what he was doing in the dream he was playing my favorite instrument okay like that's why i was like god you're so sweet um and so um he's he's so he just takes such delight in you and then this made me like, oh, I had never thought of this. And I read this verse, but you know how sometimes it's just like, uh, it speaks to you and it just like cuts through and it's like, oh my goodness. So you know how we are called to like worship God and lift up our praise and shout and rejoice in the Lord and do all of that and to delight in the Lord. And we are called to do all of that. And then I'm like, wait, 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 God, wait. We lift up our praise. We delight in you. We do all this for you. And then you bring it right back down on us. I had never seen it that way. I'm like, wow, God, you're like so good. So good. I'm like, how is he going to sing to us? We sing to him. We lift him up. We praise him. We do all this, right? Like for him. And then he turns around and does the same for us. And that just blows my mind. That he delights in us too. That that he rejoices in us too. And that um, he, he sings to us. He sings to us, but then I'm like, well, what parent doesn't? You know, when you have your little babies and you just, all of a sudden you become a singer and you sing to them and you just can't take your eyes off of them and you just marvel and like, wow, you know, this life, this being. And he does that with us too. And I'm just like, oh God, wow. You know, um, and so, um, also, there's going to be a pruning where he's removing the people who have uh, held you back. The people, um, it says, those who grieve over the appointed feast and bear the burden of reproach because they cannot keep them. Um, so what that means is that there's people that are lamenting that are grieving your past and it's like you've moved on you've um 
you've let things go but there's people around you who are still kind of dragging you back and like oh you lost this and oh you lost that and remember this and remember that and they're stuck in the past god is saying he's removing these people he's gonna remove them okay because they're they're stuck they're like lot's wife wow thank you holy spirit she looked bad she like they were moving forward right the the uh the angel of the lord was leading them out and she got stuck because she was looking back. So God is removing all of Lot's wives. All of the people that can't stop looking back. God is remo removing those people in your life. Because they're uh, keeping you from moving forward. They keep reminding you of the past. Okay, so God is going to remove these people. Um, when the time comes, I will deal with all those who oppressed you okay so everybody again who has held you back who has kept you in oppression who uh basically is comfortable with where you are and doesn't feel that you need to progress or advance or move forward you're fine exactly where you are but we all know that with god there's always more and we are to keep moving we are to keep following him um, so God is going to deal with these people. They're like, like their hindrances, things that are holding you back. Okay. Um, yeah. And I did have a dream last night about, I don't think I can share it, but I am going to say, because it's in this scripture, God is dealing with the enemies and especially the enemies who went to the enemy to hurt you um so there was like witchcraft sorcery whatever they tried um they're falling in their own trap that's all i'm gonna say the the traps that were set for you for for you right to harm you to hurt you they're gonna fall in them that's all i'm gonna say okay but yeah, um, God is dealing with enemies and people that have held you back. Even if they're like good people, well-intended people, and they just don't even know that they're being used uh, to hold you back. God is going to remove those and uh, those people. Um, yes. When the time comes, I will bring you in. When the time comes, I will gather you. I will make you an object of fame and praise among the peoples of the earth when I restore your fortunes before your very eyes. So this is just a lot of confirmation. Um, uh, he had already said, you know, that he was going to put you in, in rooms. He was going to expand your influence. Um, yeah, like, so he's just saying it again. Um, and... Uh, when I restore your fortunes before your very eyes, again, that sense of the eyes, um, your eyes are going to see it. What was unseen will now be seen. Okay. So I thought that was very beautiful. Um, God is, is singing over us, delighting in us. Okay. Um, and it is his good pleasure to bless us. And to see us progress, to see us grow. What parent doesn't? What good parent? Because I've seen a lot of things, okay? What good parent um, doesn't want that for their child? Um, and also, I was led to uh, look up the keys on the piano. Because the piano has keys. <laughs> um, there's 88 on a standard piano there's 88 keys oh black and white i'm wearing black and white i didn't do that on purpose okay i didn't um so there's 88 keys and in the greek it means incessantly without interruption constant and then um in hebrew it means water skins like a container that holds water, okay? 
And so the incessantly without interruption and a constant, um, you're, you're stepping into brand new territory, brand new land, or like a whole new world. That sounds like Aladdin, right? It's Aladdin says a whole new world. Um, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Um, a new earth and a new heaven. And that's in Revelations 21. I'll cite all scripture that he's just giving me in the description box. Okay. But yeah, a whole new world. But now I want to listen to that song. Um, so incessantly without interruption, constant. That's what the scripture said here. Nobody's going to interrupt this. Nobody can stop what God is about to do. Nobody can interrupt it. Larry, where is it? Where is it? With no one to disturb them. Yeah. You will no longer need to fear that anything bad will happen. So this is like going to be your new life. This is going to be your new. The, the This constant, like without interruption, just blessing, just peace, just all things good, right? Um, and the water skins, it's just a confirmation that you are that carrier of the living waters, that you are a vessel of the Lord. Um, and um, yeah, you, you um, give the thirsty a drink. Um, so yeah, so I just thought this was a beautiful word of God's just love being poured out on us and just reaffirming everything that he's doing and it's just yeah he's so good so that's it for this word um if you guys are led to sow you may do so details are in the description box and all scripture too i will cite in the description box okay god bless you guys bye